three, two, one. offline no it's on it's on are we on see i never know anything this is a damn shame man this thing is never up to date with me anyways welcome to the machine room <laughs> podcast it's been a while we were on hiatus because life happens don't worry about it don't judge us it doesn't matter we're here and we hope you're here with us as always i'm your host nastradamus and as always she's your host Hammer of Venus, and together we are the Machine Room Podcast. We both are one fucking room. <laughs> we make up a room like Job of the Hut. Yes, yes, man. I wish I had Job of the Hut's room. Kind of. Only wish I had Job of the Hut's room if that room co- comes with that um that band. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? But I want the special edition band. I want Homegirl to come out of nowhere and start singing her fucking song, you know? I always skip that scene. I can't stand that song. What? That's the shit. E I the woo all in the my E O Girl, you hating. That's terrible. You hating. In my room we'll have that. You could have whatever you want in your room. Just homeboy just playing the fucking keyboards and shit. Yeah. And those he weird was chill. Guys. Just fucking the little blue elephant guy. Yeah, the blue elephant guy. Probably drinking the blue milk. That's he what probably, they do. <laughs> he probably has his own line of blue milk. <laughs> and it's like an energy drink. <laughs> yes. Oh man, I actually want some now. No, I don't. The blue milk. But we're back in the Machine Room Podcast. We'd like to thank those guys who are in here in the chat room. And if you're listening, like we always say, we're on here Sunday night, 9 p.m. Central on Twitch, Machine Room Podcast. Shout out to Cut West. Thank you for being here. Uh, let's let's give him a round of, a round of applause. Cut West, you're a real one. Thank you. Thank you. All right, stop all the applauses. We're in a machine room podcast, and you know we're just here to freaking talk about things, talk about all the things. Um, recently, uh, WandaVision has finished. For those who have seen it, you were part of a fun ride. For those who haven't, now you can just binge watch the whole thing together, and you know. I need to it. binge watch it. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty damn good. Actually, the series, the series really like heightens previous movies. You know, like mm-hmm. Avengers: Age of Ultron was cool, you know, but it was just like it was just there. It, it felt like a filler. It introduced like Wanda and and, and Quicksilver and the whole set up for civil war that's what it felt like but after watching wandavision you get you get more into how important it is especially because of wanda and vision you know so it mm-hmm. heightens it because i remember i watched it before i watched like episode seven which was gonna like reveal more and i watched age of ultron and watching it you're like oh man like it just felt like the origin and, and it just it just went into it just fit more into it just heightened it more you know it opened it more you you understand more the feelings of what and everything that was going on in there with those characters so that's why at the end of each episode they're like hey, wh- uh, we recommend avengers age of ultron they just like they just tell you like hey watch this movie you know it's gonna be it's gonna help it and make it better so i did uh I haven't jumped into the finale yet, but I will soon. Look at Dro just said he's back for a few. Will we watch what I miss in the pooper? You see? 
this guy's doing it right. Because Machine Room Podcast is pooper, uh, pooper talk. Yes. Yeah. Listen to us on the pooper. Mm -hmm. We don't believe in the whole, like, water cooler talk. No. (laughs) No. At work, we want you to go to the restroom, go into your stalls, poop, and talk to your neighbor next to you while pooping. Tell him to give you a courtesy flush. <laughs> and then you find out it's Tom Arnold. You're like, who does number two work for? Yeah, you show That's him, buddy. right, buddy. <laughs> you show that Charlie's boss. <laughs> that's the third Austin Power reference tonight. Joe says Civil War feels more of an Avengers movie than Age of Ultron did. That is true. It's true, yeah. That is true. Cut West, 707. If you constipated, turn the volume up so your grunts don't flush out the podcast. That's a, that's a good note. Good note right that's there. That's a good idea. Yes, yes. Write that down. Write that down. But, as I said, it's been two weeks and you guys haven't heard from us. Um, Rachel, how you been? I've been good. I started a new job. Uh, getting back into tech support so kind of feels like going home hey i know you sent me something you're like i got a whole new computer they gave you a whole computer Mm -hmm. a whole computer a big imac not the biggest one but shit that's come up to me i mean the only i i always said the only way i'll have a fucking like imac or iphone is if it's given to me you Me too. Was given one, so you're all set. I can't even use like an iPhone with my phone carrier, so it would be useless to me. I don't even want to use an iPhone. I don't either. That's my thing, and it gets me. You know, I want I wanted to get a new phone because my my other phone was acting very all fucked up the battery was dying quicker especially since it got colder the battery just died mm-hmm. it'll literally it'll go to like 60 percent i put it in my pocket i take it out two percent like oh my god like that I, w- I was freaking living off of external battery the whole time so i finally went in i changed service as well i went into um the same service as my fiance and got a whole new phone so now i'm walking around with a freaking Galaxy Note 20. Oh, nice. Samsung Note 20. Sorry, it's not a Galaxy. But yeah, Samsung Note 20. So it's probably my first ever, like, up-to-date, expensive-ass phone. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm actually loving it. It's it's great. But I... And I say that, and my friend, like, LP, he's nothing but iPhone. He's like, get an iPhone. Get an iPhone. Get an iPhone. I was like, no, dude, I'm not. I don't want it. Yeah, I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. And there's no way for me to try to like convince a hardcore iPhone user of the cons to it. I don't know. Just let somebody like that play with an Android and just say it's the new iPhone. I, sh- I should. I should they just hand them this. I'll be like, here, fuck with this. And then he drops it because that's what iPhone people do. They drop their phone all the time. They do. It's always shattered. Their screen's always broke. <laughs> it's always fucked up. I don't need that. But yeah, I got a, I got a new phone and and I'm enjoying that. But you know, if I wanted, if it was an iPhone, they had to give it to me. Be like, here you go, and I'll be like, I right, I guess I'll still I'll still get another phone though. <laughs> Just sell it. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Hell yeah, make some money off of that thing. Make some hella money off of that thing. You know who's making money? Friends, I know. I guess making money. There's, there's this, this. The PS5 and Xbox game is real because they grab these things and then sell them. You know, like left or right. You have a better chance of getting this system from someone you know than actually getting them online. It's crazy. What do you mean? mean? Oh, because they get their hands on them, and then they sell them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't want to call them like scalpers or anything like that, but they do that and then they sell it. I like when I got my Xbox because of my friend, uh, he was offering me a PS5 first and I was like, ah, nah, man, I'm good. But joking. Hey, but if you get an Xbox and then sure enough, like later he was like, yo, I got this Xbox. I was like, oh shit. Okay. Um, uh, excuse me. I guess I'll get that. Take a shot for every time you hear me burp on this uh podcast. Yeah, I mean, gonna be drunk as hell. That's the whole purpose, baby. Taking shots while on the pooper is perfect. You know, you're already there, so if you get shit faced drunk, all you gotta do is turn the hell around, <laughs> put your head in the toilet, and then sleep in the bathtub. Yes, just <laughs> that's gotta hurt your neck. Oh man, I only been that shit face once. Really? Yeah. Only. Tell us. I'm a good boy. But yeah. Take How did shot. that happen? How did that happen? Yeah. Like me getting shit face? Yeah, what happened? Oh, what happened? Oh, uh this is uh this is a story. Of a time at Rocio, uh, <laughs> we were, it was back when we were first hanging out. So we hanged out here and it was me, her, and uh, our friend, who's the one that I met, how I met her. She was my friend and, 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 and Rocio was her friend and I met her through him, her, met her through her. That makes sense? Yes. Yes. So we're all here hanging out, got drinks and... I'm drinking and she kept like, you know, here, go ahead, drink. And I'm drinking and I'm just having a good time and I'm drinking and drinking. And I was never like a drinker. So, you know, I just kept it. And it was just the vibe was good. And the vibe got too good. So I got, <laughs> I started feeling it, you know. So I just remember like I'm looking right at her and, you know, having a good time. I'm feeling her. And then I just went like, I'll be back. And I went to the bathroom <laughs> and sure enough, she, she knew what the hell was happening. And when I like look back, she's right there next to me, like, making sure I'm cool and everything like that. But yeah, that's it. So she did something that everybody my entire life tried to do. And that's get me shit face drunk. And no one succeeded. She did. Why didn't they succeed before? I didn't want, I didn't care. I didn't want to do it. And I've done things like, man, there would be times when my friends would be like, yo, come on, take a shot, whatever. And they'll do the shot that you fucking burn and everything like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I'm all like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. You know, because I didn't care. I really didn't care. And they're like, come on, come on. I was like, oh, whatever. And I take the shot and then I put it down. Everybody's making their face like Martin, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, I ain't gonna make no face. And I'm just like, I right, cool. And they're like, you don't feel nothing. I'm like, nah, man, it's cool. And I'll turn around. I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> I had to act cool, man. I had to act like that shit didn't phase me. So, I, I, you know, I dabbled here and there. And never got too drunk. It wasn't until like sometime when. Like first heartbroken and shit, and then I drank a little bit more, and then I got tipsy, and that's as far as it went, you know. I never got mm -hmm. too further than that. Then I guess that night it was just like a really good night. We were feeling each other. I was, I don't know, comfy. It just felt right, and I just enjoyed it. And that's it. I don't know. Did you have a hangover the next day? Uh, I think so, maybe. I don't know. The only hangovers I remember lately is when I'm when I had too much edibles. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite. And then, I, and then I wake up and I'm like, oh man, I'm still tired. <laughs> I just want to lay down. Still floating. <laughs> yup. That's why I don't do it when I have to go to work the next day, cause can't be sucks. flying around. It, it sucks. Get up and you're just like, oh, you don't want to do anything. Look, Dro said, Rocio gets nasty shit face. 
it's funny. I would always go back and think about Always Sunny in Philadelphia and just start cracking up. And the one thing that always comes to mind is the scene when both parties are at a restaurant, but they didn't want to tell the other party they were, and they're just trying to have their own moments. And then Charlie and Mac are the only ones that want to say hi to the other table. But the other member of the table is like, no. So then it's telling Mac, no, don't say hi. Don't even recognize them. And um, Frank is telling Charlie, like, don't, don't freaking. But they lock eyes on each other. So you just see a shot of just like Charlie looking at Mac and Mac looking at Charlie. <laughs> and they're just like, and like they should say something, but they shouldn't say anything. And they're like, what are you doing? It's like, you looked at him. It's like, I looked at him. I'm sorry. I'm looking at him. They stop looking at him. And they just like locked eyes. And it's just, it's funny. It cracks me up. Those guys are hilarious. Those I'm guys. like several seasons behind at this point. Oh man, I caught up last year. It's so funny. And they're still going. And the things they do, man, like I'm mad that some episodes have been touched, you know? Taken mm-hmm. off of um Hulu. Like their lethal weapon episodes and whatnot. And I guess I get it, but also I don't because nobody complains about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. That the whole purpose of that show is that this is a group of people who are really pieces of shits, but also lovable. It's weird. So the whole joke is that they're so... What's the word? Awful. Yeah, you know, and they're doing stuff that shouldn't like. It's just awful shit. But they're <sighs> shit, man. I'm trying to use words here. <laughs> they're don't realize it, you know. To them, they're just yeah. like they're fine and it's all innocent and they're not doing no harm, but they don't realize that what they're, what they're doing and saying is like fucked up shit and funny shit, but it works in that contents of the comedy. It's nothing mm-hmm. to really go off in the fan. I know they took off an episode because D did a Puerto Rican chick and they took it off because they feared it would be offensive. And I watched it and I cracked up because I was like, yeah, that is, that's a New York Puerto Rican chick. It's funny. Like, you know, it's not, I wasn't offended by it or anything like that. I don't know. It's just, it, it's part of it. It's part of it, you know? And no one, I heard no one, especially when it came to the Lethal Weapon episode, that I'm freaking a- amazed that they got through those episodes. No one really, like, when it's like, ah, this is bullshit. It's the, it was part of the joke how Mac, they wanted to do Lethal Weapon, and Mac wanted to be Murtaugh. Like, yeah. Indeed, he wanted, he wanted to be the character, even painting himself to be the character. And that's the joke of it. And Dennis was like, no. And he just played it as his own color. And it was funny. And no one was offended by it. I know people who were like, and I heard I heard about it because of Randy. He told me about this. Mm-hmm. He was like, it's funny as shit. You know, and here's a guy. He's black. He wasn't offended by it. It's like people who sh- who are now to this day, and I hope, because I don't know anybody else, that love Robert Downey Jr. in Tropic Thunder. And I recently watched that movie myself. And he is the fucking, like, the funniest, greatest character. But it's within the context of that character, you know? Right. It's it's uh, it's an actor who who's so method that he will even go into being that race to play that. And it was touching upon how actors taking other races' jobs and shit like that. It's just, it was on funny in the context and should never be taken out of the context that is being offensive they had said um if that movie got made today instead of back then that that probably wouldn't get made because people would be so offended yeah it probably wouldn't it probably would not and it wasn't i mean it was long ago but it wasn't that long ago and i don't know man it's that's a fucking masterpiece right there. And I don't know if anything could be pulled off again like that. Especially all the retarded stuff. and oh, it, I mean, right. it's just a great movie. Like, the way that they 
poked at everybody. Like, they didn't give a fuck. But they did it in such a way that it was, like, just funny. Yeah. And that's comedy. The, the comedy yeah. is... Comedy is poking at realism. You know? Right. Poking on that and and being making it funny and bringing it out into the attention. You know? But I guess there's a way that you gotta do it, but there's... Good ways of doing it, uh, you know what I mean. It was it was yeah. it was smart. It was creative, and 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 I'm glad to this day it's it's not being attacked on. Though it comes up quite sometimes, but no one really like they just shrug it off. Like ah, shut the fuck up about that. Don't talk about Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> well, I mean, we're in the same boat. I mean, if. The Juggernaut came out this year instead of two, 2006. I mean, people would be fucking screaming for it to get taken off the, the internet and, you know, cancel this, cancel that. Let, it wouldn't have went anywhere. Let's hope the Gen Zers never find my Juggernaut bitch video. <laughs> and it, Even, it, it's, it's kind of scary it, because I've seen it, like, circulating on TikTok, too, so. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's. I don't want it to get to. I don't want it to get out there like that. Even like the uh, the new version that came out with the subtitles and the captions and everything, people love it. Nope. I haven't heard any bad things about it. Nope. Because no Gen Zer is watching it. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> not yet. It is. I don't know. Different times. But then that also was just comedy in the context of what that what that was there. Yeah. So you think it's just gen generation C that gets offended by everything? I mean, that's all I hear about. That's the joke, you know, Gen Zers and whatnot. But it's it's not that. There's I I think the conservatives are really like going at it or something. I don't know. I really don't know because you know there was wasn't there a time like anything was like the fifties or something like that that anything was like you know you can't do this you can't do that and then yeah there was all the hippies and the rock and rock and shit like that then the nineties happened for like eighties and nineties happened for real it was all like fuck you and we got to get away with shit like saying shit on TV yep. and you know some nudity and all that shit and. Now we're going back to the days where it's just like, you can't do this and you can't say that. And I can understand for some things, like some things are like, whoa, dude, don't do that. Don't say that. But some other things are like, come on, man. Like, really? Why do you care? Like people going after Pepe Le Pew. That is just... And that's, but that's the ongoing joke that we've always said while growing up. It's like this motherfucker is just, you know. I think they're missing the the point with stuff like that. Is that kind of parody was supposed to bring attention to over sexualized men in that time? Yeah, over sexualized Frenchmen. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> fucking Frenchies. <laughs> Oh man, you can't. It's like cartoons, man. How are you gonna? How are you gonna go after cartoons? Cartoons, they're a freaking parody of life. You can't. It's the next thing. I'm like, wasn't there a time when people were going? At, I think maybe I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But was there a time that anybody went after Bugs Bunny for cross dressing? And uh, or uh, no. I never heard anything about that. All right, hopefully that never happens either because that will be just stupid. It's all part of the joke. I think they also, I think I read the article with Pepper Lefew, like they also toned down Elmer, F Elmer Fudd, I think. Probably. What was wrong with Elmer Fudd? I don't know because I read something in the article here. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, Looney Tunes has previously stopped featuring rifles and has updated portrayals of Emerald Foot. There you go. They took out the guns. Yeah, that figures. 
he 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 don't he don't got the strap anymore. That was the point of him. He was always trying to kill Bugs Bunny or Don or uh, Daffy Duck. Exactly. And cartoons was always about guns. I mean, it's the whole point. They get shot in the face and they just have a dark face. Yeah. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. Phantom Knight says, I thought the point of Peppy was that you didn't want to be a creep like him. Yeah. Exactly. That's the point. Don't do what he was doing. Yeah. That was that was the point of a lot of cartoons like that. Mm -hmm. They would bring him to life or bring him to air. All these things that you shouldn't do. And you learn from it. You know, I don't think any of these fucking mass shooters would blame cartoons. Like, oh, you know, El Elmer Fudd made me want to go shoot up Walmart. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> but if I ever go crazy in a mass shooting, I'm going to blame Elmer Fudd. Yeah. That's going to be my thing. I'm just going to fucking just fuck everything up. Like, what made you go out there and just shoot people? Ah, pff, Elmer Fudd. Yeah. I want I want to be like him in Yosemite Sam. Exactly. Mm hmm When I had the yeah. shotgun, Fudd. Two, sh two six-shooters, Yosemite. And he was making fun of gun-toting Texans and... Yep. In... You know, like right wing people that all I talk about is guns. I uh, you can't you can't even have those uh mobsters. Remember the mobsters? It was the little one yep. and the big one <laughs> with the big ass stupid hat. <laughs> that of mice the men people. Uh Phantom Knight said, like Oscar, I always looked at him that you didn't want to live your life all grouchy and miserable. Look on the bright side of life. Exactly. exactly. People Wait, are taking shit the wrong way. Like, they're getting all offended instead of looking at it and going, oh, we're supposed to not be like that character. That's the point. Mm-hmm. But no, like, now they're even going after Dr. Seuss over shit that he did long time ago, like probably before he was ever famous. Ages ago, from books that no one's ever heard of or read Mm -mm. I never were, heard of them. Yeah, exactly, because they were never part of the curriculum when it came to children books. Yeah. So people are attacking things that are not even known. Like, how do people, like, that just goes to prove that, like, people are going out of their way to be offended. Yeah. Who? who Literally. Was, who was the freaking writer? Who was the freaking writer that had the cat? On what? Oh, my God. Oh, H.P. Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft had a cat. And mm -hmm. do you know what he called a cat? What? I can't say it. <laughs> but it started with the N-word and ended with man. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's funny. Right? It was something like that. Hold on. This Urban Dictionary is like going off my... Oh, okay. H.P. Lovecraft cat right here. It refers to the cat name... Mm-hmm. Owned by the family of the American <laughs> horror fiction writer H.P. Lovecraft during his childhood. Online, H.P. Lovecraft's cat has appeared in multiple Don't Google posts which invite unsuspecting users to look up the name of the cat, luring them into reading a racial slur. Wow. I'd never yeah. heard of that, ever. Yup. Yup. But, you know, he's dead, so who cares? <laughs> exactly. How are you going to cancel somebody that's already dead? And, and even if it's just... It's just... <laughs> Even if he was alive, you know what? I'm not, I'm not, I think it's hilarious. It's not right, but it's funny to me. Right. But it's mostly funny now because that was a different time period. So it's like, ha, this guy was a racist the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> After all those books, he was still racist. <laughs> he was a freaking racist, man. 
Like, imagine that he's like home and the cat just jumps on him. It's like, oh, that's a cute cat. What's his name? Oh, this is a <laughs> inward man. Oh, man. No, that wasn't Dr. Seuss. That was H.P. Lovecraft. Great. Now one, now one fucking my Google search is going to, that name's going to pop up. Watch me, watch me streaming. They're going to see like, it's like, what the fuck were you looking up? <laughs> Ooh, my bad. Uh, what had happened was shit happened. But yeah, if people, don't, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I understand there's some, there's some things that you should be like canceled for, you know, i.e. Bill Cosby. Oh yeah. He was a serial rapist. Mm hmm. But I don't think that's canceling. I think that's bringing to justice. Well, that's I mean, that's, that's what it should be. <laughs> you know, they're not screaming to have his TV show taken off the air. They they wanted him to go to prison. Well, they took his TV show off the air regardless. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can never watch the Cosby show now. Ever. Ever. It was. It, you know how they say like, oh, where there's two dimensions existed in 2020 and now they're like one now and shit and that's why things change oh that's how i feel it is there was this one whole other dimension where i grew up on the cosby show mm -hmm. and i just have memories of it and now it doesn't exist only his other spinoff show a different world that's that was it. a spinoff right yeah that was a after good the, show after the whole cosby thing they they just had that in syndication there was nothing of cosby <laughs> it was just a different world syndicated like crazy and you're like all right i guess we're racing everything i used to love that show a different world yeah yes that was a good show but so was the cosby show Fuck one that. of my favorite stand-ups um was bill cosby himself and now i can't watch it messed up right one of my favorite comedians is louis ck and chris oh. delia and both of them are fucking up i can't i used to love louis ck now i can't watch him eh. i just eh. imagine him like beating off to some chick but why didn't they ever do anything like what like i don't know the guy's beating off so get up and punch him in the face or something exactly or walk out the room. They always said like they always made it seem like they couldn't leave, but I don't think he locked the door or anything. Just the fuck out. Kick him in the dick and get out of there. Something. Not gonna learn his lesson if he just like. <clears throat> and he evidently didn't do it just once. He did. It was something that he was known to do. They're like, oh, that's just Louie. That's just what he does. They're like, no, that's not okay. I hate it, man, because he was my shit. Me too. My mom and I quote him all the time. Oh, Phantom Knight say Cosby is still on a few networks. Really? Hmm. Not any that I see. Interesting. How do you just whip out your dick? <laughs> These are the questions I ask. How do you just whip out your dick to a stranger? Let's start a new hashtag. Um, hashtag don't whip out your dick. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, hashtag Louis CK. Oh, man. How do you just, hey, how you doing? Hey, do you don't mind if I whip out my dick? <laughs> <laughs> He's all nice about it. <laughs> it's like, what was it indecent? Expo no, not indecent. A uh, basic instinct, you know, and crossing yeah. her legs. He's crossing his little fucking dick. Crash. I assume. I assume it's little. I don't know. Did the ladies ever describe it? <laughs> not that I ever heard. <laughs> Did they ever describe his fucking dick? <laughs> he was thinking with his dip dipstick, Jimmy. Yeah. Don't think with your dipstick. Oh, uh, Phantom, I say, pretty sure that's called a nuclear icebreaker when you just whip it out like that. Is that really what it's called? I, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, nuclear icebreaker. Let's see. Uh, nuclear 
You I... Google it, because I don't want that shit in my history. <laughs> Nuclear-powered icebreaker. No, it's actual icebreaker than shit. It's nuclear icebreaker. It's like it's an actual boat that just breaks through ice, and I guess it carries nuclear shit. Nuclear powered. But I guess in the terms that he's saying, you know, it's like it's an icebreaker, but this one's a nuclear icebreaker. Ah, I get it. <laughs> I get the reference. It took some time, a lot of research, a lot of math, but we figure out what you were trying to say from the get-go. We do. That's what we do here in the machine room. Yes, we do. We we get down to the nitty gritty. We don't let nothing fly by. What was that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> do you yeah. think it's you know people want to blame Gen Z, but I think it's a lot, a lot of millennials too that are like that. What falls on the millennials? Like eighty five and up. Or it used oh, to that's be. years, right? Yeah, 1985. Oh, I thought you meant like 85 year olds enough. I was like, what? Oh, no. <laughs> I was lost. So, a year after me are millennials? They used to be. Now it's now they're trying to say it's 82. And I'm like, no, you, you can't just change that. No, wasn't that Gen X? Yeah, we're Gen X. Yeah, we're Gen X. Millennials, aren't those the ones that were born like near the 2000s? No, that's more Gen Z. Oh, my God. I'm confused now. I'm confused. Look this up. Millennials. Millennials. R. Also known as Generation Y. Demographic mm -hmm. cohort following Generation X and preceding Generation Z. Uh, research and popular media use the early 1980s as starting birth years and mid 1990s to early 2000s as ending birth years, with 1981 Same. to 1996 being widely accepted. Okay, then that's us. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not a Gen Xer? I still claim being Gen X, or yeah, Gen X, because they said 82 was the last year. Well, I was born in 82, so that would be the last year of Gen X. So this one says Gen X are late 1970s to early 1980s. So how early yeah. are you talking about? It used to be up to 85, but they keep changing it. It used to be every 20 years, I think, was the generation. So 65 to 85, that's 20 years. Man, I was, well, I guess, can I be a millennial Gen Xer? Yeah. <laughs> Falling right there under both? I don't, I wouldn't want to be both. Well, we something, damn it. We're special. Okay. That's, that, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure we're special. And so are all these people trying to like go after stuff that just doesn't really fucking matter. Like Gina Carano? Gina Carano. That thing is... Carano. What'd I that's, say? I don't know, man. That's that's a that's a subject. I don't know. Like, At one point, I'm like, uh, y'all should have just left her alone. Another point, I'm like, she should have just kept her mouth shut. I don't know. Yeah. I get what she was trying to say. She just went about it the wrong way. Mm. And the way that she did it just pushed people's buttons. If she would have said it, just reworded it, or I don't know. See, I don't I think saw... it was all that bad. She just, she was saying some kind of extremist kind of shit. I saw her little interview with Ben Shapiro. And... I don't know, man. It's like she's there. She's being innocent and sweet and all that stuff, you know. And I and I feel for her and so like that. But there's things that she said, like she's like, I'm never been political and blah, blah blah. But I started like noticing these things and blah blah. blah. She said she put that out there to try to bring awareness and to open minds, not being mm -hmm. hurtful or anything like that. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But too many things are like 
she won't apologize. Right. I get it. I get it. You don't want to apologize. You want to stand by your thing. Okay. But if you're someone who is so, like, you care so much and so sweet and empathetic, then I think you would try to understand why it was taken as it was, you know? And she clarified herself what she was trying to say when she posted that. Mm-hmm. So why didn't you come out and do that? You didn't have to be like, I. well, you know, you could say like, I apologize if I offend anybody, but I meant to say this and this and that. Exactly. But I think she was so taken by the fact that it's like, it caused such an uproar and made her lose her job. And now she's like, oh, well, then fuck you guys. Because they oh, she always brought up the fact like, oh, but Pedro Pascal said this about the fucking camps that they're keeping the immigrants and saying mm-hmm. how it's like the Holocaust. And I'm here think, and I'm here just my response is like, because, bitch, that's like. Yeah, that's that. a good comparison. Yeah, like that comparison makes fucking sense. Your comparison was, oh, you're, the people are, are looking and attacking the, the Republicans like the Nazis coming after the Jews. Like, yeah, it's not the that. same thing. I, yeah. And again, I understand what she was trying to say. She was trying to make a comparison like that, but it was too extreme. Like, mm-hmm. if she would have said something else, or tried to clarify, okay, like, okay, I'm sorry if that offended. I really meant this instead. It would have covered her ass, but she doubled down instead of, you know, trying to go about it the right way. No, yeah, she's all about, like, I said what I said. I have the freedom of speech, and you all need to wake up and stuff like that. And I was just like, and it sucks because I really love this woman. I did like, too. She's my pick. She was my pick to be Wonder Woman. I wanted her. I thought she mm-hmm. had like the whole body, face, and everything. I really loved her character in The Mandalorian. I don't hate her, but I just wish. I don't know. I just wish she wasn't doing this that way. And and it's. And I follow her Instagram, and every fucking post is just, especially her story, is like people that stand by her and 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 just speaking the truth and and this and this and that and the freedom of this and it's just too much. Like, okay, get over it already. Like, if you want to move on from this, then move on from it and stop freaking tackling it. You know, we get it. People are behind you, and you're fucking strong about this. But how about you just, like, bury it and just move on, and maybe things will build up right now. But apparently she has a good following because, you know, people have followings like crazy. Freaking Trump did that CPAC whatever shit, and the fucking reaction to that was a big uproar, and I'm still confused as to why. (sighs) It just makes my head hurt, and I don't want to deal with it. Yeah, I don't either. And it's like I want to, like a part of me like wants to, like what is it that you guys see? And then I know on the other end, there's people who are not happy with Joe Biden right now too. But that's our job is not is to criticize what the president is doing. The only difference is that this guy is just a president who's there who's trying to do his job and not doing it right. While we had someone else who was in there who we didn't feel was right for the position and was doing everything way wrong in our opinion. Way, way wrong. Way too wrong. And then go golfing every five minutes. Yeah. And then you have people who are starting like Gina Carano highly believes that the whole freaking trafficking, you know, child trafficking and whatnot. And and people attacking him for attacking Syria. And it just feels like either if whatever side of the fucking fence you're at is something and I just really wish we didn't have to deal with it. And then I truly believe that the internet doesn't help at all. No. If internet just fuels the fire for anything. Everything. Because you you have these like these people that just don't care, these like narcissists that think it's funny and then they just make it worse. Mm-hmm. 
by like poking the bear. <laughs> like, oh, I'm gonna put a bunch of memes and and post and and stuff about Nazis and shit now because they think it's funny. It's like, no, it's not. And I get that a lot of that kind of extreme humor, like where I can take a joke, but these people just do it the wrong way. I just, there's moments I just want to understand, and I can't understand. I would go into someone who's a strong freaking Trump supporter's uh, tweets and just try to understand, try to look, try to see. And I just constantly disappointed. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. And when I see people who are not like strong supporters like that, but are there and they're freaking, um, talking shit about the administration now, I can understand. You know, so I don't know. Yeah. Because these people over here say like, oh, he did this and he did this and it was great. And I didn't see anything great. And this guy over here is like, oh, he's doing this. He's doing this. But this is bad. And it's like, OK, I see that. I don't know. Plus, then again, here's my here's my real fucking uh, here's my real point. I'm not political. You know, I'm not political. I never say I am. I say that mm-hmm. I know kind of what's going on, but I'm not political. And I stay the fuck off of it. That's what I feel like sh- she should have did. She says it herself. I was never, I've never, I was never a very political person. And she's speaking her mind out. And it's like, I think you don't have like, the right knowledge or something like that, you know, mm-hmm. you're speaking your mind about something like that. And you're still like, Oh, I'm very awake and I'm seeing stuff. It's like, okay, but I still think like you shouldn't talk. Yeah. That's just me. Like me. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to say anything about that. I'll say some things, you know, but I would rather not say anything. And I think she should be the same way. And that goes for Kanye, too. He should shut the fuck up and just keep making music. <laughs> Amen. Some Phantom people... Knight says, she's the worst possible euphemism to describe something. People want to be pissed off on the internet. I have a friend who's a Trump supporter, who are Trump supporters. Mostly makes me just stay off Facebook because you get tired of the toxic post. It, yeah, that's exactly right. Because it's just like beating a dead horse with everything that they post and that they talk about. It's like, okay, I get it. But you have to see that there's no evidence of the shit that you bring up all the time. There isn't. Even if there is, sitting and nagging people about it isn't helping anything, obviously. Your little memes and all that stuff, they're not working. So try something else. Try like a more elegant approach. Because everything that they do the example of the people that follow are just doing insane, really bad things. When you have other people on the other fence who follow what's going on and just saying things because of what the action of that administration is doing, but they're no way and no way projecting that onto the people in their life. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't got people who are who voted Democrat and part of that party over here freaking bullying, calling names, slurring and and, and being like pieces of shit to other people. When you're on the other fence, you're seeing these people here who are representing, following this this party who are doing such things. And it just gives a bad representation representation. But then again, it's when I'm, you know, what I'm saying that the internet is just showing perceiving. That's when I start thinking like, oh, you know, the 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 media will will manipulate shit and show you what it wants to show you. And it's like, okay, well then, I'm trying to see other things, but then you'll fucking see videos that is like, okay, here's this shot, but here's a couple more seconds after and from another angle, you know, and it's like, yeah, 
you're seeing something as it is really it's like how is this being like manipulated it's not it's, it's this is this and from what i'm seeing it's worse mm -hmm. i don't know if that made all sense I, like i said i'm not very <laughs> political i like to talk geeky shit like yo man that fucking movie was dope or Hey, you play that new game and shit. You know, I like to talk stuff like that because that doesn't really cause anything. Though, uh, console wars will start a debate. I yes, plenty of times I have to hold myself back from punching people in the face when they're all PlayStation <laughs> lovers. But you have a PlayStation, so I do. Are you, are you part of the problem? No, I'm not because you see, I'm a lover of video games. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I have all. I would have all, now all the even, systems, all the systems, even PC. I want, I want to be all part of it because what I love is gaming. Period. No matter what, do I have a, a preferred console? Yes, my preferred console is the Xbox. It's just what I prefer. Other people is Nintendo. Other people is PlayStation. But never have I been the kind of kind of guy who's like, yo, man. Fuck your shit. My shit better. <laughs> this is the iPhone people, too. It's like, man, fuck your yeah. phone. My phone's the shit. No, dude. Stop it. I love everything. You know? I have my hands on the Xbox, and now me and my fiance are fucking thinking about getting the PS5 together. There you go. You know? It's just because we were like, do I want it right now? Not really. There's nothing really in it for me at the moment. But... My preferred is an Xbox. Oh, excuse me. So if I say, hey, I'm playing on my Xbox, I don't want you as a person who loves the Sony PlayStation, whatever, to come at me for like, man, what the hell are you doing with an Xbox PlayStation for life, <laughs> bitch? Fuck Microsoft. It's like, why you have to? Why, why does it bother you that I'm playing this theme? You like playing on your PlayStation? Fantastic, dude. Keep playing and have fun. I believe that everything should be crossplay. I do, too. And playing on games that are crossplay, like Call of Duty or um, World War Z, and seeing how well they work together, I'm like, why isn't every game like this? Why are people battling against each other in these stupid console wars when we can have them all work together? Exactly. The point is not which console is better. No, the point should be like, play on whatever console you want and play with other people. Right. You know, hey, that's man, the point. Yeah. You want to play this game? Cool. I'm going to play on the PlayStation because I prefer to play on the PlayStation. Oh, cool. I'm going to play it on the PC because I prefer to play it on the PC. That's it. Just a game. Sure. Each console could have like if it's like a single fucking player game, then uh -huh. sure. Each console could have their exclusive game. But if it's something involving more than one people like big multiplayer or or like you said, World War Z, that's four players. Mm -hmm. Make that shit cross-play. It's yeah. just more better. Why? I feel like maybe it's like the whole server kind of thing, but I just feel like it just makes sense and be more profitable because you just don't have one market. You have all these markets that just everybody playing your game. Well, then it just gets everybody to the point, and the point is the game. Do you like the game? Is the game fun? Do you like playing it with other people? Okay, great. Well, then it should be cross-play. Yeah. That's the whole point. Those are real fucking good developers when they make it like this. Phantom Knight said, I knew a guy who was such a Sony fanboy, he stopped being my friend and deleted, blocked me because I said traded a 3DS for Vita was a poor choice. That is funny. That's funny, man. But um, you were right, though. Trading a 3DS for a Vita was a poor choice. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. Real talk. I traded my 3DS for a Switch. That just made sense. Yeah, that makes sense. That just made sense. It's basically like the upgrade of that. It's, that's what you do. I... I wouldn't have traded for a Vita. Um, that's right. Sony did have fucking handheld games. I forgot about that. Yeah, I, I missed. I wish they had. I wish they had a handheld system now. 
right? But then they'll probably just that that then they'll just be like jocking on Nintendo because Nintendo got that shit like down packed since day one. Nintendo just like yeah. oh we are the kings of handheld. There was nothing else since Game X- Boy. Xbox kind of right now because the Game Pass you can play on your Android. Oh really? Yeah. So you just get the Game Pass and then you have either the Game Pass app or the Xbox app or whatever. And then you can get like the fucking controller shit to add to your phone to make it look like yeah. a Switch. And then you're playing on there. I know like with the Xbox app and the Series X, I'm able to connect my phone to it and then play it off my phone. That's cool. So one time, I don't know if it's like also can be done on the Xbox One, but one time <laughs> I was like playing Watch Dogs. Uh, okay, let me check this out. And I don't have no controller shit for my phone, so I just used the screen of my phone as the TV screen. I used my controller to play the game. Oh, shit. I went and uh, pooped while still playing <laughs> Watch Dogs. <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the future. I think you have a poop asphyxiation. I got to poop, man. You know, when when nature calls, you got to fucking poop. <laughs> you got to fucking poop. You can't stop it. Phantom and I said, didn't even say anything to me about being mad. Just straight up deleted and blocked me. I was like, well, damn. Well, shit. That, that's the thing. You know, that's the thing. And, you know, no, no offense. If you love PlayStation, fantastic. I love my PlayStation 2. I have great games on there and I played and um I kind of like slowly not even intentionally just transformed my whole fiance's household to PlayStation because I just kept getting my hands on them and I was like well here you go um I play on there and I enjoy it you know uh is it my preferred place to play no I mean I like playing on the Xbox it's just more comfortable with me and stuff like that but like I said I'm a gamer and I love everything if you love PlayStation that's fantastic. Don't come at us who don't choose it as our only mm-hmm. platform, you know? And it's funny because it's usually the battle is really just between, like, Xbox and PlayStation. While people on Nintendo are just like, hey, we're here. Yeah, they don't even give a shit. <laughs> yeah. They're just like, and it's funny because I know um, Josie. You remember Josie? Part of MWE, he barely shows his face at all. Now he just does like his own like clothing line and he's like going all yeah. the way. Um he's a big like Nintendo fanboy, like forever. But he's not you know, he's like a perfect representation where it's like, hey, you know, he he, he said like, Yeah, I played this, I played this on that. I was like, Oh yeah, you ever played um this whatever on this on, on the on the PlayStation or this on the Xbox? Like, no, not really. I want to try it, but, you know, not re- he never, like, knocked it. He's like, nah, fuck your system. Nintendo all day. You know, he never said that. He was just like, yeah. no, I haven't. I mean, I'd like to try it. I mean, but I'll, you know, that's how they are. Said, no, you know, it's kind of cool, man. You know, I'll try you know. <laughs> He never, like, went for your throat and tried to kill he you because didn't. you like Xbox. He didn't. The Nintendo users are peaceful and <laughs> xbox i feel like nintendo users are peaceful xbox people are peaceful it's just the playstation fanboys that are just like intense it's kind of like people that choose facebook over twitter or vice versa and then instagram people are just like meh yeah eh, just here yeah sharing these pictures look at what i'm eating today yeah, uh, Fan- Phantom. I said, like, I love Nintendo stuff, but like, I don't care what game something is on. I just like playing games and having fun. I'm not gonna get mad if someone says Switch sucks. Exactly, and the Switch doesn't suck. Like, it's great when you have fucking games on there and you can play anywhere. You know what sucks about the Switch? The fucking uh, joystick having that joystick uh, Joy-Con drift and it just fucking moves by itself. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, that's the only thing. Like, my Switch has that problem. I need to get new controllers. You know how much those controllers cost? About Mm -hmm. 80 bucks. That's ridiculous. Mm Mm-hmm. And I do not want to spend 80 bucks (laughs) on a fucking controller. My Xbox 360 controller did that drift thing, and it was fucking irritating. Ooh, shit. You're trying to go down, and it's just like... It was to to the left. Ooh, so, so like, your character like just kept going that way? He just kept... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you fall off. Yeah. 
That shit's annoying, and it kind of kills your vibe. Yeah, it does. Motherfucker. So, in the end, we're just all gamers, and yeah. I'm, like, happy about anything. I'm happy about anything that comes out because I have everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I you have know? everything except for the Switch. Yeah. That's how you do it. Yeah, and I like it that way. You know, I haven't really liked anything Nintendo. This is going to sound hipster as fuck, but... Go ahead. Probably since 64. 64 was a great console, though. I liked Wii. I just didn't know. I never had one, so I always played... Well, yeah, I'll change my statement. I liked the Wii. I never had one, but I always liked playing other people's Wii. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I bet you did. So dead. Love the joystick. <laughs> I regretted trading my Wii in. I got another one from uh from Rocio. Uh but you know, it wasn't like my Wii had stuff installed in it and everything like that. Now here's the problem. Nice. I got it I got another one. But I'm missing everything. So the sensor and the and the Joy Cons, you know, mm-hmm. or the you know the Wii Motes. There you go. For me to find those, that's a mission now. Yeah, but it's there. Go to that guy's shop in uh, Seattle that we watch on Twitch. Oh, homeboy, right? Yeah, he's got everything. He's he's on right now, actually. DS Cooper. Yep, there he is. He's on right there. Hey, man, send me about uh, two Wiimotes sensor because <laughs> uh, I still have Wii games. How You know what it was that I traded in the Wii because I was like, I'm going to get the Wii U. It plays Wii games. Yep. And then the Wii U lasted not that long, and then here comes the Switch. Like a year. Yeah, here comes the Switch. It's like, damn. And then, like, predominantly all the – now, if the Switch had this, like, connection thing, it was like, here, you could play your fucking Wii games on it. I was like, oh, damn, dope. That'd be dope. You know, another thing about it, that dock should have had this, like, disc tray that you put your Wii game in, and then you could play Wii games on your Switch. That would be awesome. I just blew your minds. I should be working for Nintendo. You should. Tell them to sell all their old Nintendo games on the App Store for, like, a dollar a piece. They would make a (laughs) mint. Uh, right, and they'll be like, oh, "Fuck you, a get out." <laughs> like, Damn, man, I'm sorry. That was a great impression. Thank you. I try. You ever heard the story of Nintendo and how when it got they over are here? Playing cards. Like it got overseas because of one dude from somewhere. It was in this. It was in this documentary, and I think it was a documentary series on Netflix. Mm-hmm. I forgot what it was called. But it's interesting. <laughs> Never heard of it. Something on there. Or I could be confusing it with some other video game documentary. It was something. Phantom Knight said they're slowly bringing most the older games to Switch. At least they are. Like if you if you get the yearly subscription, which is like the cheapest fucking like online subscription ever, it's just twenty dollars a year. Oh wow. Yeah, you get this. NES and Super NES basically like emulator kind of thing right. and they constantly just give you free games to play and it's wow. all these classic Nintendo and Super Nintendo games and they just keep adding it see I would get a, a Switch just for that because I love the classic games like I used to have I'm not going to say every Nintendo game but I used to have a fuck ton of Nintendo games a fuck ton that's the new a box fuck coming ton. Out. Get the new Nintendo fuck ton of games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it has. It's, it's it's pretty pretty damn cool and shit like that. And they're slowly bringing in like re, like No More Heroes to me was the best game on the Wii, and now they put them on the Switch finally, which pissed me off because it was that one not 2020, it was in 2019 when there was still conventions, and I was like, okay, I got the Wii. You know what I'm gonna get? I'm gonna get these games that I traded in my dumb ass, and I just want them because they were like the best. I'm gonna find no more heroes. I'm gonna find no more heroes one, no more heroes two, and it was like this small gaming con, and these people were just selling old games and consoles and shit like that. 
And yeah. I went on the I went on a hunt and I found no more heroes. Cool. I need to find no more heroes too. And then I found no more heroes too. I was like, sweet, I got them both. Cool. Couldn't play it with the Wii because I didn't have anything for it. And now they put it on the Switch. I was like, why the fuck did I buy these games? <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life. And the, man, I wish what happened now. Okay, well, I can't say what happening now because with the Game Pass and like the PS Plus, it's just fantastic how we're just getting free games. Mm-hmm. You know, just like bam, bam, bam. And when we were back in the day, we had to beg and please, like, hey, let me get that new game, please. Mom, can <laughs> right. I get the new game. Can Can I get the new game? And I was on. I was one of the few lucky ones that had the Sega Channel, and that was the greatest thing ever created. That was like Game Pass before Game Pass. So damn good. For sure. Every month, a bunch of games. Phantom Knight said, I modded my NES classes, so it has every NES on it. You can't play light gun games, but that's all right. You're talking about Aww. like Duck Hunt? Yeah. Yeah. Duck Hunt. That game Mom. made me so mad. You, you, you fucking dog just laughing a at us. A damn dog. <laughs> You didn't have to laugh at us like that, dog. Just <laughs> killed my confidence. Fuck you. Why didn't they ever bring that back? Because people are too mad. Well, they don't... Yeah, no, I know. I was going to say they don't focus on that, but no, they did. The Wii had some, like, you know, the Wii thing. You could do that. With, I, I just say, give me a nice little duck hunt fucking remastered, redone game or whatever, and I'll have fun with that. Yeah. But having that is real hardcore, so like, oh no, that's messed up, man. Because I was about to say, like, you're like, you know, at one point you could burn that fucking dog for laughing at you or something. <laughs> Somebody made a game online, and instead of shooting ducks, you shoot the dog. Damn. Was it called Old Yeller? Should be. Should be. <laughs> oh, man. Phantom Knight says Super Scope on NES suck or SNES. I think they that killed off the light gun. Yeah, it did. But they had that weird one that looked like a bazooka. I didn't that like they, it. <laughs> that they use in the Mario Brothers movie. Yep. <laughs> that I don't give a fuck what people say. That movie's a shit. It's a fucking masterpiece. It's terrible. <laughs> it's a masterpiece for what it is. <laughs> They were on drugs when they made that movie. And it was a beautiful fucking acid trip. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's what I say. I should be on drugs while watching that movie. Maybe it'll be even crazier. Even better. <laughs> even better. Even better. Like I wish I was when I saw that Nicolas Cage movie, Mandy. I still need to see that. You need to see it. That fucking shit's crazy. I've heard. So so fucking crazy. Slow. It, it's slow. It takes its time. Some weird ass shit. But then once it once it gets to that point, it's go time, baby. It just goes crazier after that. It's just fucking high octane. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> At the end, you're like, goddamn. That was amazing. So it's like a Tarantino movie? Ooh, I don't even think Tarantino can even match to that level. Let me tell you, like visually, cinematically, mm-hmm. Tarantino can't get to that level. Wow, that's a he'll bold probably, statement. Yeah, he'll probably look at it and be like, "Oh, huh, I'm gonna try to pull that shit off." But this was a, this was on its own thing. I don't even know, man. Like I never seen anything like it. It's sometimes when you see a movie and you see like this visionary director and you just like, what inspired him? You know? Right. Like what inspired you? To go this way. And I guess in this sense, maybe old 70s movies, perhaps, but something inspired this guy to go into the route that he went and how he presented that movie because it's just out there. Something, sometimes you see stuff like when we first saw The Matrix, like, oh my mm-hmm. God, what inspired the Wachowskis to do this? And we know it was like anime and graphic novels, mm-hmm. stuff like that. And it's like, that's fucking amazing. Or when I see like Edgar Wright movies and what inspired him to do the way he does it, like quick jump cuts and things to the music, and especially when they did like Scott Pilgrim versus the World, you're like, oh my god. So 
you can tell what inspired like Quentin Tarantino because you know he just does movies. He just does stuff that he loved and his and movies that he saw. Yeah, and, from the seventies. Yeah, and I can tell from like watching Robert Rodriguez when he did Desperado. You're like, oh shit, this is like inspired by like John Woo kind of movies. You know, you can mm-hmm. kind of tell, but he puts his own little Latin style to it. It's just that's how you do it, and this guy who directed Mandy is just like, what is this? It was just new. Mm-hmm. It was his own thing. It's on my list. I th- Sorry, I was like dazed out and I thought I heard you say, on your left. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but it's on your list. Got I'm it. Running just out of nowhere. Running <laughs> just run right by me. What the hell? I didn't laugh. <laughs> I'm excited because that's the next thing coming out on Disney Plus is uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah, that I'm gonna watch. See how that turns out. Let's tell people where they can find us. Oh, you don't know? You can find us on Machine Room Podcast.com. Um, everything up to date will be there, but also, most importantly, if you want to listen to us anytime on your train. Uh, walking, jogging, or in the car, in the car, or most importantly, on the pooper. Uh, you can listen to us in so many places, and practically everywhere podcasts can be heard. We're talking Spotify, iTunes, Audible. Uh, what else? I'm Google, 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 Google. What music? Google Podcast. Google Podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, we're all over the place. Wherever podcast can be listened to you can listen to us and we really appreciate if you do if there's any rating system on there all i know is itunes uh please rate us yeah uh, um if there's any comments whatever just do it um we would also love for you to be a part of these live shows so follow us on twitch where uh twitch.tv slash machine room podcast it's all together. It's not that hard. And you can follow us on Twitter at The Real Machine Room. Yep. And you can watch these broadcasts on our YouTube at Machine Real Machine Room. It's mm-hmm. all very simple and all can be found at Machine Room Podcast.com. Holla at your boy. You know, before I go, I was contacted by a fellow cyber goon. And they were like, hey, you ever thought about doing redesigns of your t-shirts? And I was like, hmm, not really. I mean, I never thought about it, but I can talk about that. So that was the concept right there. Someone said redesigns. I have no ideas. I don't know if you have any ideas, but that's what he said. So... But those are you, um those are all my babies. Yeah. If you want a design from MWE, you can take your ass to MWE4life.com, hit up the shop over there and check that out. If you have no idea what the fuck MWE4life.com is, that's fine because I'm afraid if you watch any of our videos, we'll get canceled. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I don't want to end the Legina Corano be like freedom of speech, bitches. <laughs> God. Just come out back. Nah, we fucked up. <laughs> you fucked up. Whatever, man. Cancel me. I don't give a shit. What am I gonna do? I'll just play video games forever. Yep. Come on, time. But also, uh, follow me on Twitter at Nastradamus. That's N A Z T R A D A M I X. And you can follow Rachel at Hammer of Venus. As pretty like self-explanatory how to how to spell that. You know, yeah, Hammer. Just a- like Thor's hammer of, uh, you know, and Venus, like the planet. Mm-hmm. Very simple. I have to like spell my shit out because people will be like, what? Or like my fiance said, it's Nastrodonymous. It's like, no, it's not. It's Nastrodonymous. Nastrodonymous. No. No. <laughs> no. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. But I like to thank everybody that's been here. Phantom Knight, thank you for being part of the conversation like crazy. Uh, thank others who are here. Cut West, you were quiet. Lemon Juice, you were there. Spend Dog, you the man. And A10, 
I believe that's a person. I know these other people are just bots. But thank you for being here, and uh, I'm glad we were here to do this tonight. Hopefully, we'll see you guys next Sunday if our lives let us. <laughs> exactly. It's hard times, everybody. And, but I, we... and I'll find a new word instead of saying exactly all the time. No, man. That's a new t-shirt idea right there. It's your <laughs> face and just exactly. Exactly. With your dogs next to you. Yes. <laughs> My dog pound. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> No, spend dog, you're the man. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you. We love you, and we hope to see you next week, same time here. Twitch. TV slash Machine Room Podcast, 9 p.m. Central, and this is where we hang out and talk all the bullshit. And tonight we came to the conclusion that quit being a bitch. <laughs> gaming is gaming. We should all just love video gaming. If I play the Xbox, leave me alone. Let me enjoy my Xbox. I'll leave you alone and let you enjoy your console. And that's that. Preach. All right. But the Game Pass is the greatest thing ever. All right. Good night, <laughs> everybody. I don't hear the music. The music hears you. Oh. Because I didn't have it on. Yep. I'm fantastic. I'm the best at this at all time. Thank you, everybody. Good night.